Hi, let's talk about the architecture of a telecom network. So any network which we see today, it is consisting of three different sub -network. The very first one is a radio access network, which we call as a RAN. Now this radio access network has, if you see, this is the mast normally we see. So the mast containing certain equipments, which is having certain antennas and having on the bottom, there is an equipment, which is a called as a base station or a base pen unit we have. And we have a radio unit connected to it, which is then connected to the antenna. So we'll talk about and simulate it through one video where I've taken a live video from the site and to depict that what these different equipments and their functions are. So whenever any user wants to connect to the network, so this is the sub network which comes into the picture, which is a radio access network. And it is having a radio waves which connects the user with this particular base station depending upon the geography it is lying into. Now any information which is coming from the user equipment or going towards the user equipment, it has to go back to the core network. So basically we have a data center which is having a different functionalities. We'll talk about that. So any user who wants to access to the network, it should be a legitimate user. It should have certain kind of subscription to allow and to avail certain services. And there are different nodes that are present to ensure that how the information coming from the user or going towards the user, how it will move across the network. So there are different nodes for that. Don't, don't remember them right now. We'll talk about them in detail in the subsequent slides. So in between this core network and the radio access network, we have a transport network, which is also known as a backhaul and which is further evolving with technology. So until 4G technology, we have seen this is a single backhaul, but going forward, we are seeing a disaggregation here. We are seeing it is it is being disaggregated between a mid hall and a front hall. So here, basically what we can see is the backhaul is actually the kind of medium through which we'll take the information. It could be a fiber, it could be a microwave technology, which is some circular antennas, or it could be a satellite, but that is not widely used currently in telecom. So any information which is transmitting and receiving between radio access network and the core network, it is being catered by the backhaul. And then we have the external network, which is the internet for that purposes. Say for example, user want to access to the google.com. So it has to go to the external network, which is a external internet or a data network we have along with these three sub networks in the telecom infrastructure.